Good morning, lovely humans. Lana here. It is the 2nd of September, and gosh, I'm already, I'm seeing signs of fall, and my automatic reaction, my knee-jerk reaction was to go, oh, the leaves are falling, and I'm not ready for fall yet, and to resist the signs of change, but I can't stop it. I can't stop these leaves from falling. I can't stop the cooler weather rolling in. It's gonna, fall is, fall is coming. Fall is arguably starting to be here. And it's time to start letting go of the summer months and embrace change. I don't know where you are in this world. Perhaps you are experiencing seasons changing currently. Or maybe it's life changes. But I encourage you to pay attention to those knee-jerk reactions, those automatic reactions, and reflect on, I guess, where is it coming from, and is it helpful? I think going on nature walks during season, seasonal changes is really helpful for me because I get to observe it more acutely in real time, observe the changes, and give myself time to express gratitude for them. So we were on a walk yesterday, and I just, I kept stopping, and you know, I'd have moments where I'd go, oh, the leaves are falling, but look how pretty they are, like confetti on the ground. And then I'd have moments where I'd see a patch of moss and I'd reach out to, to brush it with my fingers and I'd go, oh, I'm gonna miss the moss when the snow and the ice comes and covers it up. So there's a mix. But you know what? I'm looking forward to some fall campfires. It's been such a hot summer that even in the evening when the sun's gone down, you know, it, it was still quite hot, and you're not really <laughs> looking to be sitting around an open flame. So, I'm looking forward to some crisp fall campfires in the evening. I'm looking forward to some layering moments. Like, look, I'm wearing a flannel for the first time in ages. That's how you know fall is really here, <coughs> when the flannels are broken out. I also, I pulled up some of my plants that are kind of, they're done for the season, and now I'm thinking about, is there anything I could plant for the fall, like hardier root vegetables or something like that? I'm such a novice, but uh, I'm going to give that a Google and see what else I could squeeze out of this growing season. And hey, you know what? I won't have to weed my front garden beds every week <laughs> when the when the winter comes at least. There's lots to look forward to and gosh I love like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Those holidays are so cozy and so family and friends oriented. Um, and I love I love the crafts of the season too. I'm, I just got some essential oils in for candle making that I'm, gonna, I'm excited for because I like to do candles and they make really great gifts too. So lots to look forward to for this fall season and I'm looking very autumnal with this flannel that I thrifted a little while ago and I love the colorway. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and, and share my feelings around the changing of the seasons here in Ontario and just that parallel to change in life and life changes at first we will resist them because they're human and change is uncomfortable it requires changing habits changing our perspectives sometimes it means loss and grieving loss and forming new connections and pathways in life 
but we, you know, a lot of things are out of our control. We can't stop the change. So it's, if you can't stop it, well, how are you, how do you want to deal with it? That's kind of the only thing you can focus your energy on. And it's, you know, take the life lessons with you. What are you learning from this experience? What are you going to be going forward? Yeah, I think I'm constantly amazed how in the moment of loss, of distress, of fracturing, of relationships, or negative life events, it can feel so dire. It really can. And just, it can feel so dire. It can feel like such a loss. Especially when you're someone that cherishes the things in their life. But when you come in with that abundance mindset, you know you have to cultivate this faith in yourself, in the universe, in life, that there is so much good in the world, so many great humans, that your story, you, it's, I don't know, it's written in the stars, you don't know how it's going to unfold, there's going to be twists and turns, and that's what makes life interesting, and you just got to keep putting one foot in front of the other, and keep showing up, and keep being as you as you can be, and it's going to get better, and it's going to be more beautiful and amazing than you ever could have thought. So, that's my little message of positivity. <laughs> it's something I'm choosing to believe. I've had some things in my life. Like, gosh, whatever age you are, you're so young. You have so much time. So much time to experience rebirth and death and rebirth again. Every day is a new day. <coughs> Every day is a new opportunity to, to grow and to love harder and live fuller. That's what we're here to do, to live and to learn and to love and to grow. Amen. <laughs> uh, I'm so enjoying this drive. Um, gosh, just the sun shining on the crops on the field. It's such a beautiful time of year. It's this niche moment where the crops are almost in full bloom. I mean, the corn's looking great. And uh, yeah, it hasn't been harvested yet. So it's just in its full glory. And beautiful blue sky with fluffy clouds. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, folks. I took a little bit of a break. I hadn't... I had, this is my first video. I've sat down and talked to you guys in, I want to say, a good month. I, I've been pretty... I had worked quite ahead. I, I, had, I was creating a lot, and so I had a lot of videos sort of stockpiled and pre-scheduled. So I didn't need to film content to keep up with my schedule. But I also went through some things that uh, I needed time to process. And uh, so I took a little bit of a break. But I feel like I'm coming back to myself and I'm ready to share again. So here I am. Thanks for sticking around if you are still here. And wherever you are, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. I know that you are loved. Yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.